Hey everybody. The first thing I'd like to cover is getting our audio interface set up properly. Your audio interface is just your sound card, whether it's internal or external. It's how we get audio in and out of Sonar. I'll be using a little Tascam US200 connected by USB. To set up the audio interface, we need to go into the Preferences window by going to Edit and Preferences, or by just using the P key as a shortcut. Now, I want to cover everything here in the Devices tab, but first I'd like to talk about one setting in the Playback and Recording tab. Here we have the Driver Mode with four options. We have WDM, WAS API, ASIO, and MME. WSA API and MME I wouldn't recommend using as they don't give the performance of the WDM and ASIO models. So between WDM and ASIO, it's hard to say which one will be best for you, and you may need to experiment to see what kind of results you get with either. Some setups will perform better with ASIO, while others will prefer WDM. WDM is a Windows driver model, while ASIO is Steinberg's. I'll cover WDM a bit, but for me, ASIO works much better, so I'll be sticking with that. So let's switch back to the Devices tab and see what we can do. One of the major differences between ASIO and WDM is that with ASIO, you can only activate one device, and the other devices will be grayed out and not selectable. With WDM, you can select multiple devices to be active at the same time. To run multiple devices, you'll need to select a master device, which the other devices will sync to. We'll cover that later. Here we have the input drivers, and here we have the output drivers. The input drivers are what we will use for recording, while the output drivers are what will be used for playback. As you can see, I have the US200 drivers selected, and the ASIO for all drivers are grayed out. To use them, I need to unselect all of the US200's drivers, and then the grayed out drivers become available. I'm going to stick with the US200 drivers though. Down here we have two checkboxes, Use Friendly Names to Represent Audio Drivers and Show Mono Outputs. If you check Use Friendly Names to Represent Audio Drivers, you can double click on the driver's friendly name and edit it to whatever you'd like. And that is what Sonar will refer to the driver as. Show Mono Outputs is pretty self-explanatory. If you'd like to see which mono outputs you have available for use, check this box. This is typically used when you have an external mixing console and want to route each track to a single track on the mixer. In the next video, we'll take a look at the Driver Settings tab, as there's quite a few options here that can make a big difference on the performance of Sonar X2, and it's important to get a thorough understanding of these options. So please rate and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.